Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I've got to tell you about something I heard about before we get into our Bible trivia. There's this man, and he got some gas, and he didn't realize it, but he got some gas on his hand. Man, he got in his car, started taking going going down the road, and uh, he decided to light up a cigarette. So you know, he lit the cigarette, and then his the, then his hand, you know, it caught on fire, and and so it was on fire. And so he wrote down his window and he's trying to get the thing to go out. He's, I mean, he's, you know, going like this out the window, a police officer, you know, pulls over and uh, checks on him, or at least that's what he thought he was doing. But then he found out the police officer was going to arrest him for having an illegal firearm. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Let's get to our Bible trivia questions. Our first question is this, God promised to give the Israelites land flowing with what? Fruits and vegetables, meats and cheese, meat and cheese, or milk and honey? Exodus 3, verse number 8. I know you all got this right. It's milk and honey. Number two, who was Moses instructed to speak to on behalf of the Israelites? Was it the Pharaoh, the Egyptian governor, or the captain of the Egyptian guard? Again, Exodus 3, verse number 10 tells us the answer is Pharaoh. Number three, what did Moses' staff turn into when he threw it on the ground? A flame, a scarab, or a snake? Exodus 4, verse number three tells us, of course, that it was a snake. Number four, what part of Moses became leprous, uh, became leprous than normal again? And so let me read that again. I just didn't like how I read that. What part of Moses became leprous than normal again? Was it his foot? Was it his hand? Or was it his face? Exodus 4, verses 6 through 7. Of course, tells us the answer is his hand. Number five, who did God send with Moses to talk to Pharaoh? Was it Aaron, Nathan, or Hiram? Exodus 4, verses 14 through 16, of course, tells us that it was Aaron. Here's your bonus question. What did Moses give as a reason for not wanting to be the spokesman? What did Moses give as his reason for not wanting to be the spokesman? Exodus 4, verse number 10 tells us, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. All right. I think those are pretty easy. Let's move on to our next section. At the hearing in the home of Caiaphas, what did the high priest ask Jesus? Are you a prophet? Are you the Christ, the son of God? Or are you claiming that you are a king? Matthew 26, verse 63 tells us the answer is, are you the Christ, the son of God? Number two, during the hearing of Caiaphas, what did the high priest do when Jesus confessed to being Christ, the son of God? Or Jesus removed from the room? slapped Jesus or tore his own robes. Matthew 26 verse 65 tells us that he tore his own robes. Number three, what was the high priest's charge against Jesus? Worshiping a false god, lying to the priest, or blasphemy? Matthew 26 verse 65 tells us the answer is blasphemy. Number four, what did Jesus' captors do to him along with slapping him and beating him with their fist? Cut him with knives, spit in his face, or bound him with ropes? Matthew 26, verse 67, tells us spit in his face. Number five, Jesus' captors blindfolded him and told him to do what? Prophesy who would hit him, bow down before them, or prepare to die. Matthew 26, verse 68, of course, tells us the answer is prophesy who would hit him. And here's your final bonus question for the day. What did the Jewish leaders say Jesus' punishment should be? What did the Jewish leaders say Jesus' punishment should be? Matthew 26, verse 66, of course, tells us the answer is death. All right. I think those questions were fairly easy. And um, probably most of you got most of these right. 
Uh, we've had some really doozies along the way, but uh, again, you might miss a couple just because you forgot something. That's all right. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, the Bible trivia today and I hope you have a great weekend.